Hey guys, good morning. I'm just gonna get ready for work. I have a little more time today at home. Um, I'm usually out of the house within like 20 minutes of waking up, but I have a little more time today, so I'm just gonna record to you record what I do um, in the morning. So now I'm gonna make some coffee with my Nespresso. It's my favorite thing in the world. Um, I've got coffee. Hey guys, I'm on my way home from work right now and I actually just went to go see some friends at this meditation thing that I go to sometimes um, and it's like pretty cold right now, it's raining a little bit and I look super cozy but yeah, work was just pretty chill today actually no, it wasn't, what am I saying? it was super busy, I had a lot to do we're having more people fly in to DC to come talk to legislators about their um, issues with and stuff so that's gonna be really fun and exciting but really busy but yeah so now i'm just in dupont circle i'm heading home uh, from seeing some friends and jake's gonna pick me up at the metro just excited to go home and rest i'm pretty tired today okay so my camera is basically on the verge of death but i just wanted to explain to you guys what my day was going to be like so yeah i just wanted to record this work week in my life because this is another really busy work week and i think it'd be fun for a lot of my viewers to see what it's like on a really busy work week in Washington, D.C. Um, when I'm getting work done, that's going to affect all of my viewers, you know. So everyone that is watching this is going to be affected by some of the work that I'm doing, that other people are doing in Washington, D.C. every day. And so I just thought I'd do that while I get ready. Um, I'm just going to wear a really minimal wake up makeup. But I'll just like run you through what my day is going to look like. So it's, like I said, I'm going into work a little differently today. I'm going straight to the airport because I'm picking up a constituent, someone like you and me, who has a problem. And they're going to come and explain their situation to their legislators, like their representative, their senators, and push for change. I'm gonna go pick her up. I'm really excited to meet her because I've been talking to this person for maybe like a year now on the phone and we only decided last month that we were gonna bring her. So it's always super exciting to meet these people because oftentimes I've been collaborating with them for a long time and I'll be working for the rest of the day just preparing because we actually have more people coming in um, over the next like six days. So it's gonna be really crazy. We have I think four coming in over the next few days so me and my team are gonna be running all over Capitol Hill and just trying to do as much as we can for the people of America. Uh, but yeah, I really love my work because even though we can't see immediate changes because it takes so long to pass law, I can see changes in the lives of the people I'm working with that day. You know, like they suddenly feel like they have a voice, they feel like they've been heard, and it's really hard, you know, for a lot of people to feel that way. Um, I often feel like I'm not heard when I have issues. I'm not a person who has a big platform. Um, I'm not someone who can affect change super quickly. I'm so pale. So it's really empowering for the people that I bring to DC to be able to have their voices heard and ask the people in power directly for something that they need. So I really like the work that I do and I'm really proud that I'm able to do it. Sorry about my dirty mare, but yeah, I'm just gonna head off to work now. Um, I called my Uber, so I'll be getting oh, yeah, that in a second. I'll just really quickly show you what I'm wearing, kind of. Um, but yeah, it's just my All Saints jacket, my blue Abercrombie sweater, my Treasure and Bond booties, and my blue Levi jeans. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. I'll catch you creeping over to free. I'm still a kid who's got love on his mind. Hey guys, so I'm at the airport now. It took me about 30 minutes to get here in my Uber. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting and I'm going to do some work on my computer while I wait. But yeah, I'm just gonna connect to the Wi-Fi and I'll start doing this. I'm getting a lot more comfortable vlogging in public just because honestly, I'm never gonna see these people in my life again and they don't care that I'm doing this. 
Um, so, what's up? Hey guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead to get lunch. Um, I brought the constituent over back to her office. Um, she's just chilling there for a little while, but yeah, I'm gonna go get a sandwich and then just work at my desk for a little bit. We have so much going on, it's super busy, but yeah. So I got my sandwich, I went to the wrong pot belly. Um, also, I love reading the news when on my lunch break and I just found out Kamala Harris is dropping out of the presidential race. I mean, she was losing numbers in the polls, so interesting news, I guess. Hey you guys, so I just got off work and my hair is a mess. I'm sorry, but I'm so tired. I'm waiting for an Uber right now to come get me um, because it looked like it was like $13 when I got off of work, which was amazing because it never is that much. It's usually about like $30 to go home after work. So I looked it up and it was $13, so I called it. I'm just stoked. I'm gonna go home and rest. Jake's going to go meet a friend at a bar and I thought of going, but I'm honestly just so tired and I know that I need to rest before the next two days because they're gonna be crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna head home now. This is literally the best thing to come home to. So exciting. I got some Christmas presents and then clothes for me. Love it. So I'm sorry for the mess behind me, but I just got a dress from Princess Polly and it's super cute, but the problem is it's so short. I've never said that about a dress I've received it before because I'm 5'1 and whenever a dress is online, like the reviews see they're too short. That's usually like fine for me because I'm I'm super short and it usually fits totally like normal on me. I love the sleeves on this, but I think I'm gonna order a size up because literally it's just so short and I'm just like shook. But it's a really pretty dress, but I am gonna order a size down. Okay, this one on the other hand is so cute. Um, the length is perfect. I can't like show you totally, but it's like just a, such a gorgeous dress. I cannot wear it uh, for a while because it's like a very springy dress, but I am in love with this dress. This is so cute. And then I also just received this bodysuit. Um, it's got like a cute little neckline. I like this, so I'm happy I got it. <sighs> okay, so I made it to bed. I'm so happy to be here. Um, Oh my god, I'm a mess. But yeah, so I just tried on this clothes and I love Princess Polly. Princess Polly sponsored me. Uh, but I'm so glad I got this clothes today. It's like giving myself a little present. And one of the dresses was so cute. I just can't really wear it till spring, but it's perfect. But yeah, and then two of gifts, Jake's gifts arrived. Arrived. And yeah, oh my god, I can't breathe. Okay, bye. Um, I decided to record it. It's what day is it? It's Wednesday. So yeah, I just thought I'd do my makeup and explain a little bit about what's going on today. So the past few days we've been preparing a lot for people who are coming to DC. We just have a lot of it to prepare them. Yeah, today's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna be actually wearing work clothes today because we're gonna be with important people today, possibly even senators and representatives. I know so many of the people my age, I keep saying at the viewfinder, I know so many people my age who are unsatisfied with their work and who don't find it rewarding. I just thought I'd bring you along. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage for today. Um, tomorrow's also gonna be pretty crazy, but Friday's gonna relax. And so I'm excited to show you that as well. Just a relaxing day in my life. Hey guys, so I'm just heading to the hill right now. We have a meeting coming up and I'm really excited. I hope it goes well. And we have, our first meetings went really well, so we're pretty excited about that, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Rachel here. So I just got back from the hill. Um, the meeting went like pretty okay. It was actually super fast just because the legislative assistant um, didn't really like want to let us know what their office was thinking on the bills that we were talking about, which, you know, is something that they do pretty often. So obviously they can't promise anything to people, but the, the person, the constituent I was with had a really great experience. She was able to share her experiences and listen to what her lawmaker's office thought. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I haven't told you guys what I'm wearing, so I'll just show you guys really fast. I have a thrifted blazer. I have this really old H&M turtleneck, a black skirt, and then my Via Spiga shoes. They're super comfortable, so if you're in business or anything where you have to wear nice shoes, I would really recommend these shoes because the leather is just so soft and they're really cute. 
You guys, the sleepiness is real today. I'm so tired. Okay, I'm just gonna put my makeup on now. Um, I'm going to the hell again today. We have some meetings, so it's gonna be pretty busy again, but I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to see how these go. Uh, it's always something different, honestly. You just never know what kind of person you're gonna get and um, if they're gonna be receptive or if they're gonna be like really closed off. I'm definitely gonna like rest a lot this weekend. Um, as much as I can, at least I do have um, quite a few events happening. So that'll be a little difficult. The scent I really like is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. It's really refreshing. It's the one I typically wear throughout the year. I will take you guys along with me. I am just gonna finish getting ready, um, have some coffee, and then head off. Hi guys, so I just thought I would show you what I'm going to do tonight for my skincare routine. Um, I use the Ordinary products, they're really inexpensive and um, just generally really good products. Um, I found out about them on skincare, uh, skincare addiction on Reddit um, and it's really good. So I typically use this as my moisturizer and tonight i'm going to use my vitamin c suspension and my retinoid so just gonna use those two tonight um just because i don't want to mix different things too much but yeah um i decided to just come home after work today i could have met jake and a friend for dinner but i was exhausted after today and i just wanted to relax at home alone um and the time has really flown by it's now 9 21 and the that's crazy but yeah i just did my skincare routine with the ordinary products um my skin feels really good and soft but yeah i'm just gonna go to bed shortly um and tomorrow's gonna be a lot more laid back and then i'm gonna start the weekend which will be a lot of fun but yeah good morning you guys um i'm just thought i'd record it's the last day of the week it's friday yes. you know i hope you've enjoyed this video um it's just kind of what a work week in my life looks like. I know a lot of people's looks different, but if you're gonna be if you're gonna be graduating soon, um, this this is kind of what life after college looks like. You know, um, it's good life though. I'm proud of the work I do, and you should really do your best to find a job that is right for you. It's a little hard, so if I I have some tips if you're curious, um, because I am extremely satisfied with my job, so. Yeah. I'm ready. Um, so Jake's gonna drive me to the metro now and then I'm gonna go to work. I'm sure you've seen